Caliente fishing team, Dominic, Randy, Tim Garside, Captain Erica is unavailable right now. We're out of St. Petersburg, Florida, and we travel and do professional kingfish tournaments. So we are now in Biloxi, Mississippi. Three-day tournament, pretty big deal. 38 teams, I believe they had signed up, and three days of fishing, in and out, offshore, come in and stay inshore, stay offshore, three days. So when you leave Biloxi, Mississippi, you have options. There's rigs from the start of Alabama. Florida doesn't allow uh, oil rigs. So by the time you get to Mobile Bay, you start seeing oil rigs and there's hundreds of them out there from deep water, 3000 foot rigs to, to into right off the beach in 40 foot. And, and kingfish, pretty mig migratory species, will go from that 140 foot depth in. They like a certain water temperature, so they tend to stay around bait or wherever that migratory bait is and follow it around the coast. When we left Biloxi Thursday morning, when we ran, we passed hundreds of oil rigs. They just weren't the right ones, not in the right depths, wasn't any bait there. Um, we traveled across the chandeliers, inside, through the Mississippi River, outside by Venice, and outside Redfish Pass. We went, our first stop I believe was 25 miles out. We stopped a little early. We got some information that some bait was on some rigs in shallower water instead of that deeper stuff. Got some bait and then again, passed a couple hundred more rigs to go to some specific ones that are known to produce. I think the first fish Dominic lost. The second fish he caught though, decent fish, nice to have in the bag. That brings the, the team morale up a little bit knowing we have a, a weighable fish that's respectful. Um, and then from there on, we just ground it. We, we went back to that one spot that we had bypassed the previous day, grinding it out, catching fish all day, having a lot of fun. One and thing that we noticed there was uh, we also had some great views of the rigs on the side scan. Yeah, we, we also wound up having to get away from those rigs because the fish would dive down and get into those rigs. The uh, the sharks were a little worse there. Um, the barracuda were a little worse there. It was still fun catching fish. That's not what we were going after, but it was still fun bending the rod, catching the fish. One bottom machine with with our regular uh, chirp. Yeah. And then the side scan down below it, and you could compare the two and really get a good picture of what's going on with the fish and with the structure. Yeah. And then you could mark what different kinds of bait were on it. You could see the blue runner schools. You could you see, see those the little chevrons. chevrons. Yeah. Pelagic species. So we get done fishing that first day and the, the sun's getting ready to set. We got to go in, we got to fuel the boat, ice it back down. 
We need enough fuel to to fish the the third day and get home. So we fuel it up tight. We we get a good night's rest. We wake up early and it is storming. We wake up. Yeah, we wake up. It's pouring down rain. It's gusting the 30 knots. But then there's a break. There's a break in the weather. So we load the boat and it starts pouring down rain. So we turn on the Ray Marine radar and you can there's a cool feature on there that that rain rain sensor so you can read these either crew boats running from oil tankers to to crew boats to the rigs to stationary single poles that you have to dodge and when it's raining and your visibility is uh, 50 yards it's it was incredible to have your autopilot system, the the bottom machines, the maps, the charts, the everything worked to our advantage. Getting out safely to where we were, it rained on us all day. It did, it poured down rain. That radar showed us who was fishing around us, how close they were. You could see when they turned their boat and hooked up, you could tell if they were at a rig stationary trying to catch bait. Um, and then we caught three more fish today. Um, they weren't the ones we needed. They were the ones that we wanted though. We, we got a few um, and then it picked up. The weather picked up again. And uh, we, uh, we made some great memories. We ran back through that weather, through that rain. We were all laughing, smiling. Um, came through the Mississippi River, looked at our fish figured out which ones we wanted to weigh. We, uh, we had some good laughs, made some great memories. Team effort all the way around. Everybody did their part. Everybody had fun. I hope everybody had fun. Yeah. Right? Um, um, we all have fun. We, we wouldn't always do. have fun. Yeah, yeah we, we wouldn't do it be if it here. wasn't fun. Yeah, we wouldn't be here you know? if it wasn't fun. We all, uh, we all enjoy what we do. We do it together. We're kind of like a tight-knit little group of people, like a family.